Oklahoma's agricultural and food industries have a rich heritage in our state and are a significant portion of our economy. From wheat to cattle, we feed the world. Unfortunately, many of these commodities are currently sent to other states or even other countries for further processing before reaching the consumer's table. However, the Robert M. Kerr Food and Agricultural Products Center, located in Stillwater on the Oklahoma State University campus, is committed to keeping these products, jobs and dollars in our state. FAPC, established in 1996 through the efforts of the late Senator Robert M. Kerr, provides both small and large businesses with access to professional research and education. Its goal is to stimulate and support growth of value-added agricultural and food processing in Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Jennifer Reynolds. Let's find out how the FAPC can help you. grains such as wheat and sorghum are the crops that feed the human race. They're grown in greater quantities than any other crop worldwide, and they're essential to Oklahoma's economy. That's why the FAPC has researchers who specialize in finding food and agricultural uses of cereal grains. They also explore ways to improve end user quality. Wheat is a half billion dollar crop for Oklahoma, but the state's wheat producers are facing increased competition from the global market. When officials at the Oklahoma Wheat Commission realized millers could purchase wheat from other countries at a lower cost than wheat grown locally, they had a serious problem on their hands. So if we can't compete on price, how are we going to compete? It's either going to be on price, quality, or service. And if we can't compete on price, uh, and we're already trying to provide the service, we're, we're going to have to compete on quality. But we do need the technical background and technical assistance provided by FAPC to uh, address that quality and how we're going to market that in the world market. Each year, FAPC collects data on the Oklahoma wheat crop providing the Commission a comprehensive view of quality throughout the state. In addition, FAPC provides training to wheat growers. Before we can extract more value uh, out of the people we work for, and that's the Oklahoma wheat producer, we have to better understand what that value is and how we can go out and market it. And FAPC has done an outstanding job of educating our producers, the leadership within our industry, and the importance of quality and what that means to the, to the buyer. The improvement in Oklahoma wheat can actually help local companies expand into other markets. You really try to make plans a year in advance. You know, as you cut your crop, you try to get a sense of what you got, what your quality is, and, and we've been able to uh, get some feedback from that uh, to help us better plan for where our grain's going to go. W.B. Johnston Grain Company is working with FAPC to sell wheat directly to Mexican buyers. We really envision uh, for the long-term path of it utilizing that center to help market Oklahoma wheats in general uh, by bringing in potential customers not just from Mexico from all over the world. FAPC's research benefits more than just wheat growers. Tresse is an industry leader in manufacturing traps for pest monitoring and control using pheromones. The company asked FAPC to help identify and manufacture a new group of compounds called caramones. These are the chemical smells that attract insects to food. What we were able to do was take this caramel, to identify a uh, a more attractive product, mix it with some material that we were already using for our traction, and then and combine it with the pheromone to form a trap that is about 35% more effective for red fire beetle attraction, as, as, uh, as demonstrated in many scientific trials, than the old product. So we now have a product that on a global basis uh, will provide someone like General Mills or Kellogg's or any of the large cereal manufacturers or small ones uh, a product that is much more effective. Oil seeds such as soybean or canola are another crop that shows tremendous promise for the future of Oklahoma. 
FAPC can assist in the development of value-added oilseed-related processing and products, as well as enhancing the nutritional and economic value of plant-based materials and oils. Most oil seeds grown today are used for vegetable oils, for cooking, and salad oil. But entrepreneurs like Wayne Jansen of Prairie Gold Oil Seeds are exploring the industrial uses of oil seeds. It all, I guess, became part of uh, looking at, again, looking at what the next step would be in uh, if we produce the crop, if we produce canola. Is there an outlet that we can uh, add more value to it? Once we did some initial research on the uses of canola, one thing led to another and the potential became quite clear to us that uh, there are a lot of markets available and it is a high demand uh, product. One potential market is in the production of alternative fuels like biodiesel. But to build a canola processing plant, Wayne needed concrete data on Oklahoma varieties. Typically we know canola is about 40% oil, but almost all the data comes from North Dakota and Canada. And until you actually have locally grown product, we really weren't for sure exactly where we were going to be with that. The information also provided potential investors with real numbers showing the viability of the project. It gave us a lot of credibility when we said, okay, this is what we have, this is what we can do. When you have that kind of expertise backing you up, it makes a big difference. Well, I would say this, they're an exceptionally uh, fine department or, or group. They, they have uh, state-of-the-art technology. They are highly professional, extremely uh, focused, and uh, work well in a project environment with a team like ourselves. If you have a product you'd like to develop or you want to know more about services offered by FAPC, call 405-744-6071 or go to fapc.biz.